Can you wash my truck after that? Okay. Thank you, love you. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Unfortunate. Touching it like that. Hey, what's going on, Onyx peeps? Uh, today I'm gonna go over my GoPro and audio settings on how I film my riding videos for both my Onyx videos and my Grom videos. But um, right now I'm heading back over to that. If you guys remember my old video, I visited this one fence where I put a lock on it with a photo. And I wanna see if that photo is still there. It's just right up here. But while I'm on my way there, I'm gonna talk about this. My GoPro settings, here it is. I film at 1080p at 60 frames per second and in super view. Uh, I'll leave all of my settings in the description down below. Also, my my audio setting is on, I, I believe it's like bit rate is high. And you notice that all of my videos, my audio is very clean. There's never any cracks, any issues with the audio. There's a couple of things that make my audio pretty good and I don't do any post-production on the audio. I don't edit it or anything. It's just how it is when I film. But the thing is, I use a lavalier mic called Power Wise, and I'll leave that in the link. And it has this connector on it that you have to connect if you want the audio to work right. Uh, I believe you don't connect that, you might get some cracking or you might some, get some audio issues. It might not even pick it up. But you have to use that uh, little audio link. Everyone is out riding today. But yeah, you have to use that. And then here is the key. I use a dead cat on this lavalier mic. It has a little uh, foam on the microphone as well, but I use a dead cat for the wind. And that is super important to use a dead cat. So I'll leave all of that in the link. And that's how it sounds right now. Here, my helmet, when I film, I have it cracked a little bit because I noticed that you can get a little bit of the sound in the audio, you know, of the, the sound of the bike and all that riding. Here, watch, I'm gonna open it all the way. So this is how it sounds like with the helmet opened all the way. And then, this is how it sounds like with the helmet closed, like the wind visor uh, closed on the helmet all the way. Here it is, here is the, so I, I like it the best like this with the audio. Let me see if my photo is still here. I think it's gone, I don't see it. Let me bust a B right here. Where's my photo at? Did someone take it? Is my lock still there? It was a small lock. Let's see. I think my lock is gone. How can my lock be gone? It was a tiny lock. Ah, look, someone left a sticker. I know this is the place because here is that other lock that was on it. And then I put my lock, it was like right up here somewhere. Yeah, someone took it. Why, why would they do that? It had a photo of my bike with me in it or something like that. Damn it, why would, why would it do that? Oh, that's how you turn it around. All right, so that's how I do my audio, right? And it sounds great, if you guys notice here, because you need that little dead cat. It's very important to, a dead cat is like it, so that it doesn't, when the wind hits it, it doesn't have all the wind sound. And then also when I talk and I have my peas, I pop, pop, it doesn't make that popping sound. So that's what you use it for. So that's my audio setting. And yeah, just check out all of my GoPro settings down below. That's why I have this awesome view. Oh, here is another important thing on my GoPro settings. I have, so it's on super view because I want the widest view available. But here's another thing. On the stabilization, I have it just on. I have it to the setting that says on. It's not on boosted mode or anything like that. Because if you do boosted mode, it actually takes away 10% of your view. And if you have it just on on, it's pretty good still. Let me see if I can bust it around here. Oh, look at that. That was great. And yeah, that's why my audio sounds good like this. You guys can hear it. Look, here's all the wind sound that you hear, right? Woo! Now if I close it up, that's how it sounds like. I'm gonna tear it up in here. So as you can see, the audio is great. 
the video is good and I also use the GoPro media mod so that I can connect the mic to it now GoPro did upgrade their software version where you can use the older mic but I bought this when it was when they released it early and they didn't make that fix and I had to buy the media mod and the media mod just cost so much money it was a hundred bucks for it and it was such a rip hey look at these guys with the big wheels yeah look at those <laughs> pretty nice <laughs> yeah I had to buy the media mod but you don't have to now what you can do is you can buy the old mic but you still have to buy the door for the when you plug it in otherwise it's gonna be closed up you have to buy that little door where it it has a hole for the door for the audio so you can plug it in but yeah that's how I film my stuff and I don't do any post-production I don't edit the audio or anything I don't edit I don't do any post-production on my um, on my what is it the GoPro uh, uh, picture quality either I don't do any post production on it it takes too much time I used to do that um, the only thing I'll do is like some like funny little edits here and there but other than that yeah I don't do any edits on it it's all in the settings and I messed around with my settings a lot to get it to be good like that I see I, I love doing this turnaround Ooh, that was pretty tight so yeah, I and oh another thing is my helmet. It has I'll show you right here. My helmet is a Bell helmet. It is a great helmet, by the way. Bell helmets are pretty good. It fits my head good, but it has this thing underneath my chin right down here, and I'll show you. And it blocks the wind a little bit. And I'll show you the position of my mic here too for my lavalier mic. So it blocks the wind and um you know if you guys have those open helmets and stuff it's you will definitely need a dead cat maybe put on like two dead cats on there because it will make a lot of wind wind noise but yeah if you have a open helmet it's going to pick up more and so i feel like my helmet's pretty good it blocks the the wind and so there's no crackling no issues a lot of people are out riding today like those guys that just rode by they're on their little electric scooter I was actually looking into an electric scooter to see how much they are today and they cost almost as they cost as much as an onyx it was 4500 I couldn't believe it for a scooter for one that you stand on but it was pretty big and pretty durable and it it can do the same range as this what is it to like it can do it has like really good range and really good battery power you know what I'm gonna do I am gonna go get some boba right now because I am thirsty yeah old style bike yeah, everyone's out riding Yeah, and it's all about the helmet too, I want to say, because when I'm riding my motorcycle, it's pretty loud with the pipe. So I close my visor all the way, and it blocks it even more. It's about the placement of the lavalier mic as well, I believe. If you put the lavalier mic, like, all the way up on top of the helmet or, or on the side, I don't, I don't know if it'll pick it up as well. So I put it pretty close to my mouth, and the dead cat just blocks all of the popping noise and the wind noises. But like I said, I like it the best like this, where I crack the wooden, um, the wooden shield a little bit, and it lets in air. It cools down my big fat head, and it gives it the street sound that you can hear. Because this bike is pretty quiet. I do want you guys to hear some some sound, how it is, the riding sounds, and then it doesn't make it sound like too muffled. Oh, you know what? Let's go cruise around this church. I used to go around this church and until I saw some cops and then it stopped me and there's a car over here. What is this car doing? Shady guy. What are you doing over there, Shady? Oh, I know you didn't park in the back there for... And there's like two guys back there. What are they doing? Two shady guys. 
going to give each other a winky winky. Okay, let's go get my boba. 20 miles per hour on this turn. I don't think so. Let's go 60. Dang, should I get some boba or should I get some badass coffee? Hmm, badass coffee or boba? What am I feeling, people? Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who's over at the park today. Ooh, see a guy on his sound electric bike. Guy riding his bike over there. People doing picnics. Chilling it. Ooh, big party over there. Big party over here. Party everywhere. Urgh, tear it up. Set over here this time. This, oh, that was a big bump. So, how are your guys' weekend going? Happy Memorial Day. I know there's been a few drama that's been going on with the Onyx. You know? There's been a few drama going on with Onyx these days. I'm not going to go into it. I made one drama video already, you know, and they didn't like it. I actually got bitched out by um, Tim Seward on my Instagram. He private messaged me. I'm not going to show the, the message. I'm not going to go over it, but I don't think he saw my video because I only said nice things about him. I feel like a lot of these people at Onyx, they, they're, they're very sensitive. Along with a lot of people in the Onyx community too. I think a lot of people are super sensitive. And I don't know. Because I'm in, involved with the Grom community with motorcycles and everyone there is cool. And they're riding real bikes. Those are, those are motorcycles. Even though a Grom is like a mini little scooter. But everyone's cool there. But the Onyx community, uh, people are very, very sensitive. And I see a lot of people, you know, buying an Onyx. I don't think an Onyx is a good first bike for a lot of people out there now. Maybe I thought that at before, but I think it's an awesome bike. But I don't think it's a good first bike. Because I see a lot of you guys fixing up your bikes. And you're screwing it up and it's not working. And you're asking how to get this to work and all that. Like, I, that's why I don't do anything with this bike. And it works perfect for me. I haven't had any issues. Except when the battery gets really low and it just cuts off on um, sport mode. But I've learned from that now. Like if I'm down to like two bars, I'm not going to put on sport mode. So I'm just cruising around this block here. Just trying to see how these houses are. Oh look, they have a tether bar ball here. I haven't, dang, tether ball. This is awesome. They built it. Pretty cool. Oh, look at this car right here. That looks awesome right there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. He's probably still working on it. Probably doesn't work. But yeah, I'm not going to make any more drama type videos. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the drama that's been going on with John Angel and you guys out there. You've seen that stuff. But I did watch the video. Pretty crazy stuff. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm just keeping a low profile now. And I feel like I help out Onyx a lot. Like they see how many sales I give them with my um, when I promote it with the coupon codes. Because I get an email every time someone buys it, uses my code, and they buy it. And I've gotten a lot, a lot of people buying it. So I feel like I help out Onyx a lot promoting it. And I only say good things about this bike. Look, it, it rides perfect for me. It runs perfect. I don't have any issues. And what I do is I clean my brakes. I buy I buy that brake clean thing suggested by John Angel. 
<laughs> you know, I I only bought that because he just suggested it. And I feel like he knows a lot about the bike, so I bought it. I use it. And it worked good for me. I even did his suggestion with alcohol cleaning the brake discs and then also cleaning the pads with it. And because I did a lot of dirt riding on this bike when I first got it. Yeah, it, got, it had a lot of pebbles and a lot of dirt in there. And I cleaned it off and the brakes are good. I'm only gonna do alcohol and brake clean now. I, I might not even have to use brake clean, but I did get the gr green bottle one. It's the non-chlorinated. And yeah, I use brake clean on the discs. Uh, I don't think I used that on the pads. And then on the pads, I use just 70% alcohol. <laughs> Look at these, these people here. Look, it's like roller skating. <laughs> That's funny. I am doing a different angle on my camera here, as you guys can see. I used to have it on my helmet. And uh, yeah, I used to have it on the helmet. Here's another thing with um, filming I want to talk about. I used to film on my helmet, right? But you have to practice with like moving your head. It, like it shakes too much. That's why I moved it now to my chest mount. You notice like when people film on their head and it got annoying for me watching videos with people uh, with the camp GoPro on their helmet. They were moving their hair too much. Like they're looking around too much and it was just shaking here and left and right. And it got annoying for me. So that's why I switched to the chest mount now. But yeah, that's why I switched to that. And I feel like the chest mount works pretty good for me right now. <laughs> Turn it up in here. I do the chest mount now and it's stable because it's just right on my chest. And I did notice that on my earlier videos, I move my head a lot when I'm, you know, I, I'm looking out for cars so they, they don't hit me. I'm looking left, I'm looking right. And I thought that was, uh, it got kind of annoying, so I changed it now to the chest, and I think it looks pretty good. It gets this very wide view. I didn't want to put the camera right in front of my helmet that I see a lot of people do, because once again, they they move their head too much. So I suggest for people who do that, who have the, hel the camera on their helmet, practice on just keeping your head steady, looking forward when you film, and only look when you need to. Um, damn, look at this guy. Gonna run me over, buddy? And so, yeah, now I just like put on my chest. It doesn't move a lot, but that's the problem, right? If I see something that I want to show you guys, I have to move my whole body. <laughs> but I feel like it's not too big of an issue. I just move, shift my body over, show you guys what I'm looking at. I have no idea where I'm going at. And I have some boba in the back of my backpack here. I need to park it and drink it. I'm just cruising around talking to you guys. But yeah, that is my camera and audio setup if you want it to look like my videos. I'll put everything in the description again, everything that I talked about, so you guys can check out. If you're thinking of filming some Onyx videos to make awesome content, to promote them more, even though they don't give me anything back, they should hook me up with something, a shirt maybe. <laughs> their, their, what is it, $100 t-shirt? That was ridiculous. Or their hat. May, or maybe I should just remove my discount code. Uh, come here, crows. Alright, let's check out this neighborhood. Haven't checked out this one yet. But it's a great day today. Just cruising around. Memorial Day weekend here. Great day. Just cruise around here. Well, yeah, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something else you're wondering about on my videos on how I film or my audio, let me know and I'll try to respond to it. I don't respond to any weirdos though. And you'll notice that there's been a couple of weirdos on my channel. Can I run over this apple here? Let's run it over. <laughs> I'm going to show you the apple. Here, here it is. Here's the apple. Alright, let's head back over here. I think that's gonna be it for this video. Just a fun cruising around video talking about my camera setup, my audio setup. Damn it, I hate when another car is here. I'm gonna go left, buddy. Go left. Don't run me over. Oh, yeah, that was just a quick video here. 
showing you how I film, how the audio quality is. Stay safe out there, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, people.